Hey YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a new video where I will take you through how I skin tone this image using Luminosity Max. So without much further ado, watch my intro video because this is actually a new one. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Turn on that notification button if you also haven't. And also leave a comment below if you find this video interesting. First things first, like I always say, I've retouched this image to perfection, almost. But I will do the hair retouching later and all that. But this is what I've done so far before and after, right? So from here, I would want to create the luminosity max. Creating the luminosity max, I would use the channels part. So using the channels to create the luminosity max I'll use to create um, to skin tone or skin grade this image. I already have an action on that. Let me just go to the bottom. I already have an action on that. I've created it for you guys. I'll put the link down in the description below for you guys to download it. Both my new melanin action, that's brown skin melanin action, the one I used for this, and the luminosity max action. Action rather. Sorry. So when I tap on the action you get to realize there are different marks being created over here so i have the shadow marks the high uh, sorry the highlights marks the shadow marks the highlights brightest the shadows darkest and the midtones i'll teach you guys how to create this but i want this to be a short video so let's just get to what we have to do come back to the layers tab right then i'll create a new group and rename this to skin braiding or skin toning whatever you name it i'll go to the channel stuff first things i want to work with the midtones so i hold control on my keyboard and tap on the midtones so the selection here shows that this is the midtones right come to my layers tab open the adjustment option then go to color balance so whatever I do here in the color balance will just affect the midtones because you have the midtones um, mask on the color balance. I've already graded this image, so I'll just go ahead and input in the digits I used earlier. Then we are good to go. The next one will be another color balance, but with this time I'm trying to target the shadows. So I would want to add a bit of blues in the shadows because with every dark skin melanin, um, the a bit of blues, like adding a bit of blues makes the image look perfect. So I'll target the shadows, I'll hold control and tap on the shadows, come to my layers tab, color balance and add a bit of blues into my shadows. So the next thing I'll do is um, go back to my channels, I would want to tackle a few things the reds and the yellows in the skin and to do that i would want to target the midtones because image is basically composed of the midtones right now that's what i really want to target so i'll tap i'll control sorry i'll hold control on the keyboard and tap the midtones i get a selection come back to my layers tab then select selective colors the adjustment selective color because i would really want to attack just the reds and the yellows in the image so i tap on the selective color go to red and play around with the magenta i think plus nine will be good for me and let's go to the yellows with the yellows i'll still play around with the magenta i think minus 10 is good for me so looking at this let's see a quick before and after before and after you're doing great so from here i would play my brown skin melanin action right then i'll drag the midtones the marks for the midtones because i would want to just target the midtones not the whole image so i'll drag the midtones by holding alt sorry 
if i hold alt on the keyboard and drag the max i create a copy of the max and i drop it on the folder of the melanin action so i click before and after before and after i would want to drop the opacity to let's say 60 65 uh, 60 works for me so i click before and after i'm not done i would really want to deepen the brown feel on her skin so as i've been teaching you guys from my earlier videos where i use the gradients map to uh, skin tone my images i would have to come back or select the background pick the eyedropper to make sure it's sampling all layers show sampling ring if you want then the sample size should be five by five average so i'll pick the foreground color i would pick the shadowy parts not too shadowy not here so a bit of the shadowy part then with the background i'll pick somewhere in between the midtones so with this i already have um the color ranges i want so i'll just input in the digits then i'll move forward so 427 one d for my shadows for my highlights five eight three four two eight so this is what i work with come to the gradient map adjustment i tap on this and change this to soft light i duplicate the layer and change the second layer to color group the two mask it by adding um, a negative mask so hold alt on the keyboard and tap on the masking layer i would reduce well, okay let's not reduce it first now let's I'm, I'm trying to attack just the skin all I'll do is select the skin by using this option, the color range option, which does a good job of selecting some part of the skin that I want to attack. So if I would want to add more selections to this, I would go to the eyedropper with the plus two, then paint over. So what people don't know is they just tap and it selects for them but you can also tap and hold and paint over like you're painting over an image so i'll tap let's reduce the range a bit i don't want it affecting the background i'll tap okay and it gives me um quite a selection i'll go to my gradient map folder tap on the mask and hold ctrl i to paste the mask sorry the mask on the dark mask hold ctrl d to deselect and reduce your opacity let's say 22 24 23 is okay by me so let's do a quick before and after before and after before and after so this is this guy this is how i graded this image when i was retouching this image so like i said if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my youtube channel turn on that notification button and let me know down in the comments whatever it is that you didn't get in this video then i'll tackle it later and we'll get a new video up very soon so until the next video see you guys bye